Douglas Lilburn was a colleague of mine for many years at the university in, the, in what in those days was the music department, as you may recall. And um, he, he was almost like a shadow in the doorway because he was so backward at coming forward. He never came and said, I'm Douglas Lilburn, not Douglas. And in those days, there wasn't much New Zealand music being performed. There was a kind of just it wasn't considered to be very important or very interesting. So the only thing I could think of doing was to play some of it myself. How, how about Douglas McDiamond? How did you first meet him? Well, it was through my late husband and Farquhar's as well, David and, and Radia, um, and they had quite a big art collection, a painting collection, including a number of McDiamonds, mainly watercolours. How about the two Douglases? How did they get on together? Oh, well, it depended what the weather was like a little bit, yes. They, they, I think they had had a period of very close together and I, they probably had a relationship or two and for a while anyway, but I'm not sure for how long. But then they often got very shirty with each other. But uh, anyway, it was, it was an interesting time. And I learned a lot from them as well, and, and, and I did get a lot of laughs. And they could laugh at themselves too. Uh, Douglas Lilburn probably less likely to, whereas MacDiamond, um, he just shook his head and kind of, you know, had a good, good guffaw or two. And uh, he, I liked him very much. He had warmth and... Um, wish and I just feel delighted I was around to have an experience of learning these things about the 